up guys I'm here to bring you a dead zone tutorial how to make your very own custom dead zone map now or not map game a lot of you probably recognize this map right here this one right here this crappy horrible map that is a pretty sad excuse for a dead zone game really sad excuse but I'm going to show you how to make your own dead zone game that is similar to my game the return if any of you have played that all right I have looked for videos on this and I've never found and I've not found any so I decided to show you guys how to do this because I really I would really like to see some of the games that people can create if they just know how now as you guys see I'm not using fraps using this Whoa, it's kind of trippy, but so, anyways, what we want to do is you want to get the uncopy locked model of this or uncopy locked place. I'll leave a description to it, a link to it in the description. I can't talk today, apparently. And then you're going to want to delete a number of things. Like, first, you're going to want to go into buildings because if you're going to make a truly new map, then you're going to want to go into buildings. Highlight everything in buildings. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. You highlight literally every single thing in buildings. All the way down to the bottom of this container closed. Then you scroll back up and just unselect terrain. If you don't know how to do that, you just control click on it. Then delete all that. It will then like remove all the houses and stuff like that. All the different buildings. Go into trees. Highlight everything. Erase them all. Do not delete the actual model things right here that will screw up the game then um that's you will have something that looks sort of like this but there'll be little parts around it what you want to do then is you want to go into target filter ignore dead zone spawns highlight all delete do not delete this or it will screw up everything go into locations highlight all delete and again do not delete that then vehicles, spawns, all that, delete. Don't delete any of these little models. So then, after all that is done, you will have something that resembles this. Or looks like this. Now, this is like just the map without anything. And if you want to make the whole map from scratch, if you don't want to use this at all, then you can go into world, highlight it all in field, delete. Hills, highlight on hills, delete, and then buildings, terrain, highlight on terrain, and delete. Then you will truly have a totally empty world, and you might have to erase all these parts. So, then, something you're going to want to do is make another copy of the uncopy lock thing. So you have one that looks like this, and then you have one that looks like this. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make models of all of these things right here as you see these little cubes around what the heck around the whole map these are item spawn points these other ones i will get to but first you're going to want to make copies of or models of all of these i don't know this map freaking sucks so and you then will make after you make all the all, all of the models of them Name them, what they're called, and these are the item spawn points. Now, this the weapons tier based. The weapons, this is being the highest weapon tier, medium, and then lowest. I don't know. So, you guys just need to make copies of those. And so now I'll show you how to spawn, how to make things spawn in items. So, what you're going to want to do is... It, it won't it does not really matter just make a building or something like that i'll take this house right here for example As you can see there are already things inside the house i'll just delete these when you open up buildings you'll see if you like um copy and paste the buildings from here which um a lot which i did like i use these buildings in my game it's not bad to use them or anything like that it's just that it will add to like the game because it'll look like a dead zone game then. So, 
But when you open up a building, it will have usually items and zombies. Sometimes it'll have this environment thing. Just don't mess with that at all, unless you know exactly what you're doing. But the items will be all the different things that will spawn in that building or are connected to this building when they spawn. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going to delete this. And I'm also going to delete the zombies. So what you have to do in order to spawn items, there are a few things. The items must be grouped together in a group of this label items. So I'll take HQ weapon, for example. These are the rarest weapon spawn points possible. Like, they spawn the best stuff. Take some military weapons, medical supplies, military gear. All the stuff right here, I will go down to, right here. Highlight it all, right click, click on group. It will then all be made into a little model. You need to rename it items, all lowercase. Wait, I spelled that wrong. Oops. And then you need to drag it and drop it into the building that you want it in. For, I mean, like, you can move them and put them where you want. But after you have them where you want them, you have to put them in a building. It does not matter what, what building they are put into. You would pretty much obviously want to put them into the building that you're going to have them spawn in, but you don't have to. It'll still work. So then you drop it over here. By, like, putting in, I mean, like, this, not, um... Oh, oops, it goes in the house. Like, you could have these items out here in this, in, on the grass, and they would still spawn just fine. They just have to be put inside the building like this, where they are right there. So then, all you gotta do is just drag the building inside the buildings category, and then click run. And you will have your items spawned. See, they spawned, like, an MP5, some sites. Some other crap, you just click reset, and it'll change it back. As you can see, the house changed colors. Sometimes the houses will do that because it's just in the scripts. I'm not totally sure why yet. It's just part of the game. So, I'd say you spawn in items, then to spawn in zombies. Same thing as items, basically. Drag out the zombies where you want them. Highlight, group, but instead of items, you're going to name it zombies. All lowercase, you're going to move them wherever you want, drag it into the building, drag this thing into the building that they're closest to or wherever you want them. Doesn't matter as long as it is in something, as long as it is in a model in the buildings category. So then you can run it. And they'll be gone. Zombies will not always spawn there, so as you see, they're not there either. But that's how you do that, and you can do that with anything, like I could take um, this truck and put stuff around it and then put just like drag and drop it inside there, it'll work just fine. So that's how you spawn in items, and next I guess I will show you how you make dead zone spawns, how you make it so you can actually spawn in the game, because if you're going to be testing it, pretty sure you're going to want to know how to spawn in. So. What you want to do is you want, is the um these yellow cubes that I showed you earlier. You want to make a copy of those, or like make a model of them. You can find those in Target Filter, Dead Zone Spawns. So then, after you make a model of them, you just want to drag them out wherever you want them. For example, right here. Then you're gonna to want to take the spawn, open up Target Filter, open up Ignore, drag the spawn up into dead zone spawns, just like that, and then you now will have a chance of spawning here when you leave the safe zone. Since there's only one, this is the only possible place you can spawn. Now, this is only for, like, new, fresh spawns. Anything else will just save your current position where you are. So, the same thing basically applies for vehicles. You'll have to do a bit of experimenting to see, like, which way the vehicles will spawn facing. You may have to rotate this one a bit. But... You just take vehicles, put it into vehicles, and you have to put it in the spawn category in the vehicles. You can't just put it in vehicles, it has to go in spawns. And every time a server is made, a vehicle will spawn here. Anything from like a bike to like a Humvee. Yeah, so 
that's basically how you spawn in stuff. That's how stuff spawns. That's how the spawning system works. Now you'll have to do that with everything you do. So I want to make another house. I'll have to put that into buildings and make sure that it has all the items and stuff inside of it. So if I go over to here, as you see inside all, all these buildings, it's got all the things that spawn. So if you see items, military weapons, all that stuff, it has to be in there or else it will not work. And also, if any of you are thinking about just like taking all the scripts out of the game and putting it in like your own um, game, I've tried. It works. If you do it right, it'll work. But the textures, as you see like this, like everything look all, looks all smoothly joined together. It'll look like um, kind of like chopped apart and you'll see like the lines in between the different parts. So I don't recommend doing that. I recommend just making it off the map. But, yeah, so, I will be making more of these, explaining it totally in depth, everything that I know how to do, or at least most of what I know how to do, to get, um, the game made to your custom liking, as you see. Oh, crap. Probably not, probably not the best place to do this at. Crap. Yeah, as you see a vehicle spawn there. This is near the gas zone. That would be in target filter. Gas. I can just move this somewhere else. So, yeah. I'll be doing more, as I said, showing you how to do this more. From anything, how to add new weapons, and I don't know, whatever you guys want to know. If I don't know how to do it, I will make a video on it. So, comment on if you think this was helpful or not, and subscribe, like, and I will see you guys. Later.